Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in this video I'm going to get into how I work with NotePlan and Obsidian both together and really I'm just going to get into most of the settings that you're going to have to configure in order to make these two work together well so that you're not causing any in inconsistencies between NotePlan and Obsidian. Now I work mostly in Obsidian because no plan is a, a great app on its own, but it does not have all the markdown syntax supported right now. So because it does not have all of this syntax supported right now, I work strictly in Obsidian when I'm on my desktop. And then what I use note plan for is when I get up and go and I don't have my laptop. So I either I have my phone or my iPad or both. I use note plan on my mobile devices. But as I say, note plan is a great application on the desktop as well. Um, if you don't need some of the additional syntax from markdown that I, that I actually want to have. And on the mobile device, it's a hundred percent hands down. Um, in my opinion, one of the better apps from a functionality standpoint, how I can work with my task. I can set up filters. I can get my calendar. Everything is in there other than the fact that I can't do everything on the desktop from a markdown standpoint, but I really don't do everything that I do on my desktop on my um, mobile devices so i really don't miss anything from that standpoint now before we get into the video go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it it helps the channel out and it helps this content get out to other individuals just like yourself and if you want to support the channel um, a little bit further i have a buy me a coffee link down in the description so if you feel like it go ahead and buy me a coffee as well and show your appreciation Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, we're going to get into the different settings that you have to do here. I, I have this little cheat sheet document here. Let's go ahead and change this over. Now, the first thing that we're going to want to do here is go into Note Plan and change the file type. So by default, Note Plan file types that it's set up for is going to be uh, TXT. And if we go into note plan here, we'll go into preferences. Then if we go into files right here and in here, this is where you would change the file type. As I said, by default it's TXT. So we want to change that to MD hit apply. And if you have any files that are in your, your note plan vault that you created outside of obsidian, you want to go ahead and rename rename those, which will basically change the extension to the new extension. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is set up your Obsidian Vault to map to the Note Plan Vault, and this is because the Note Plan Vault is actually in the in kind of an application path within the Mac. So the easiest way to get to the folder directory, you can go into a note and then you can do show in, in folder. And this will give you the path to where your, your actual vault is. And you can browse through here and we can see the root that I use here is the co.noteplan.noteplan3. Uh, and this has both the notes folder where all your notes are gonna go and it also has the calendar folder where all of your daily notes are gonna go. Now, take note of the format of the calendar notes, the daily notes here, where it's using the four digit year, two digit month, and then the two digit date uh, format, because we're gonna also have to change, make some changes in Obsidian to map to this as well. Now, one other thing that, you know, I'm not going to get in, into detail here, but because the file is there and you can see it, I also set up a backup job to sync um, the Obsidian Vault or the Note Plan Vault, basically it's what this one is, to a different directory on a daily basis, just in case anything happens with the CloudKit sync that, that works here. And you can change that syncing mechanism. I left it to be the same because I found it to be a lot more um, efficient, I guess, at syncing 
the files between the desktop and the mobile devices. Not to mention it's also recommended to use the CloudKit sync from the note plan developer. So we'll go ahead and go into Obsidian now. And in Obsidian, I've already set up the vault. Now, if you haven't already opened up the vault for your note plan, you can just click on the open vault folder here. And what you want to do is open folder as vault. You'll open the folder and then you'll browse to where the um, that note plan uh, folder is. And then once you open that up, it'll open in just like this here. And then it'll leave a configuration for note plan, that note plan directory in your vault settings. Now, once you have that set up, you should see the folder structure which is the same thing we saw in the Explorer where you'll have the calendar folder with all your daily notes. You'll have this filters folder, but you can ignore this. And then you'll have your note folder where all of your notes are going to go. And one thing to note here is uh, note plan does have a at trash folder in here. So you don't want to mess with this either uh, because everything you delete in note plan, uh, those files will actually go into this folder. I've also noticed that if you name a folder with that at symbol, it will not be seen in note plan. So um, I think that he's using this no notation here on folders to hide it from the Explorer window in note plan. Now we can see my folder structure, which is pretty simple and straightforward. I have this Cerebro folder where all my files go into. Uh, by default, I have it even set up in the settings that everything goes in here, attachments, and also new notes. Unless I explicitly right click on that folder and I do a new note, um, every file and attachment will go into that folder. That's just how I like it. Um, I'm trying, trying to make sure I don't have a bunch of folders and I use search and tags. Uh, more so than not to find any of the, the content that I need. I also leverage the uh, the start pane here and the recent files pane. This is an actual plugin that you can download so you can see the recent files that you've edited. Let's go through this list here. Uh, just to remember, keep me on track here. So one thing we need to do is enable daily notes. And if we go into the settings here, We'll go into the core plugins and let's scroll down to daily notes. You want to turn that on and then we want to make a change to the folder to the actual plugin. I mean to the calendar folder. So we'll go back in here. We'll go down to the actual down here to daily notes. We got it there. And once we're we're in this uh, configuration for daily notes. We want to go ahead and change the new file location to always be that calendar folder. And one other thing, how I reference the format of the files in that calendar folder, we can see here the four digit year, two digit month and two digit date. Uh, we want to make sure that that's set up here as well so that when you create the daily note in Obsidian, that note plan will also recognize that and you can open those daily notes in note plan as well. Now you could set up a template if you want to have some kind of template for for your uh, your daily note when you open it. I don't use it because I'm using Alfred for that uh, but use this as you need to. So another thing that you can do to kind of enhance the experience and make it somewhat similar to the look and feel of note plan is to add in the community plugin, the calendar community plugin. And I have this set up so that you can go ahead and have this calendar open here, similar to what you would get in note plan like this. And in note plan, when you click on these dates, it creates a new daily note similar to the calendar here that does the same. So when you click on the date here, it will create a daily note if one is not created. And if it already is created, it'll just open up that daily note. Now there's also another plugin that I use to help um, with transitioning back and forth to Obsidian. And that's this P 
page heading plugin and let's go into the settings community plugins and right here so this particular plugin here what it does is it puts the file name into the heading of the document if there is no heading in that document so a, a note plan requires or I sh shouldn't say it requires it leverages the first line in your note and it uses that first line as the actual file name so if this heading does not match the file name what you'll get is one confusion and inconsistencies when you go back and forth in your view so obsidian will show the file name by default and if you go into note plan it's going to show what's in the heading so if you're looking for things in note plan that you you know you've seen in obsidian with the file name you could get something where they're the file and the, the heading are different and I've noticed this especially if you create the notes in uh, in note plan you that scenario could happen because obsidian always uses the the file name so there there are no issues there so I in my workflow I do everything as much as possible in obsidian and note plan is really only used for um, setting up any calendar events or reminders for different tasks that are that I've put in in my documents and is strictly used for mobile purposes to either view or make edits to documents that I've already created in Obsidian. Now the last two tips here on this list is that you need to have the application for note plan open on your Mac. Now what I've noticed is that when the application is open and this goes for the iPhone and the iPad as well when the when you open up the application the syncing process goes on when the app is open now once the app is closed nothing syncs for that application and you'll you'll even see this if you close the app we can work in obsidian here we can add in files, we can add additional folders. If you had the note plan closed, the file structure will not sync to your phone. So if you don't have note plan open while you're making changes in Obsidian, and then you pick up and go off with your device thinking you're all everything is going to be synced because you're using the cloud, you will be sorely disappointed because it will not. Um, the only way to get that to happen is to have the note plan application open then it will sync now the re it goes in reverse as well if note plan is closed on your desktop and you've made any changes on your iPhone or iPad the changes will not sync to your desktop until you open note plan so that's one thing you need to really know with with note plan if you're going to integrate that into your workflow and use that with obsidian or even if you're not using obsidian and you're just using note plan on its own you should understand that but because we're using obsidian kind of um, as our primary workspace application for daily notes and tasks it's more noticeable because if you're just using note plan you would always come to your desktop and open note plan anyway so you would not have an issue. Now that's basically it for all the different things that you need to watch out for tips and if you're going to use both of these. Okay so I think I've covered everything that I needed to cover for this video. If you found this helpful go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel and until the next time have a nice day.